So we are comparing the Intel's high-end Xeon E5-2697 V3 with the E5-2699 V3. Now the V3 is the Haswell processor. If you see, don't confuse it with V2, which is an earlier Ivy Bridge processor. So let's take a look at some the basic differences in terms of specs. The 2699 has 45 MB of cache memory versus 35 MB for E5-2697. And we have scaled down the number of cores from 18 to 14 and we bump up the clock frequency from 13.6 GHz to 3.6 GHz while keeping the max turbo clock at 3.6 GHz. The TPP rating stays the same. In terms of pricing, that's the one thing to consider. There are other factors that you will have to take into account rather than the pricing and performance. But let's take a look at the benchmark score first. We have 22,892 for E5-2699 V3 and E5-2697 V3 has 22,120 about the same, not very different from 2697. That brings us to the pricing for 2699, you need to give out 4671 versus 2599 for E5-2697 which may make more sense. For a slight improvement in the pros performance, you are paying significantly higher, almost double the price. So, which one you want to choose? Other than the pricing, you also need to note down that the power performance is also something you would like to consider if you are using it as a server. The peak performance stays the same, but since it's an Octa 18 core, it's slightly going to consume slightly more power. The voltage rating that it works is typically at 0.71 volt or something like that in that range that increases only when you have a peak power dem peak performance demand that's pretty much uh, about these differences between these two processors i hope you like it thanks for taking a look